About time, about time. Welcome to First and Ten with Rams coach Joe Prudhomme. I'm Jimmy the St. Christopher. Coach, the 76 years without a Rams defeat right. is over. What did right. you take away from the loss up in McPherson on Saturday? Well, you know, we had like three or four kids total that had ever been in a college football game. So we were really inexperienced. It was our first time to play an opponent. Um, I think nerves got to us a little bit. And just the, the inexperience and the uncertainty of, of a ball game and playing in a collegiate level, it's, it's, it's a faster game. It takes a lot, uh, you know, a lot higher gear. And we just, we just didn't get that piece of it done, but it's behind us. It was a good learning experience, and everything that went wrong is fixable. So that, that was encouraging, and our kids didn't quit. I mean, they, they played hard to the end. And with that tape, you could probably use that as, you said, a good learning mm -hmm. tool, huh? Oh, it's the first time we've had real live training tape against somebody else. Um, it's always been us going against each other, and it's never been really, really full speed. So that gives us an opportunity for, for teaching tape. The offense, Kane Harden at quarterback, had two big touchdown passes, that 82-yarder to Donovan mm -hmm. Davidson in the mm -hmm. second half was a thing of beauty. Yeah. Assess his work and basically the work of the offense. You know, the offense uh, struggled a little bit up front. We had some, that's the last piece to ever come together in a football team is the offensive line. Um, so we had some, some bad snaps and, and some things we had to deal with that. But, you know, I thought Kane played hard. I thought he played well. He managed the game as well as he could. Uh, he was under pressure a lot. Uh, offensively, we're going to have to get a little bit more consistent on the running game, which we know um, it wasn't. It wasn't a you know it wasn't a bad start, but it, it's something we're going to build on. And again, training tape always is very important. How about the defense? What did you think of, of them? I thought the defense played really well for the most part. They had a real strong start. Uh, we put them in a bad spot a lot with special teams play and and some of the things that went on. But uh, they they started out strong. They gave up a few seams. Uh, seam passes, but you know we contained overall a really dangerous quarterback. Uh, Ed can play; he's he can he can fly around. So I thought our guys did a really good job with that. And then special teams they pinned him back, they pinned the bull back, uh, bulldogs back at the twelve to start mm -hmm. the game. Mm -hmm. They had a punt, and then the roof kind of fell. Yeah, out. well we had a, we had a dropped uh, a dropped punt, you know, as it were, and that kind of got the wheels off a little bit. And you just have to be able to react better than that, and to let things kind of spiral. Um, but it, you know, it, it was what it was, and hopefully it's out of our system. So, How long do you think it'll take for that experience to kick in? Is there any defining point where you say after two or three games where that starts actually taking effect? You know, I don't know yet. I don't know what the barometer is on that at this point. I know that it's going to take a little time. I hope it doesn't take very long. I'm hoping we're much improved this week, which I expect we will be. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. We'll have to play it by ear. I mean, there's a lot of young guys that are just now getting their opportunity to play. So. We'll see. Hopefully by, by the end of this game, we'll be much better. With you and your coaches, how important is patience with a young team? I think it's, I think it's critical. Um, I think it's everything, really. You, you, you do what you can. You teach. You motivate. Uh, but you can't lose patience with them. I mean, you're, they're already in kind of a really tough spot being that young. And uh, you just, you just got to roll with the punches and keep them up and, and learn and get better and learn and get better and, you know, steal some games along the way. Eric Richards caught that first touchdown pass from Kane Harden mm -hmm. of 27 yards, I believe it was. Mm -hmm. Was that a trick play? I mean, he's oh, basically no. a quarterback, so. No, he's just a real good athlete, so we couldn't have him stand over there next to us if he's not starting a quarterback. Um, he's a very explosive receiver, very athletic. He runs good routes. He has great hands. So, you know, we had already planned on him being a receiver. We've worked him there quite a bit. So he's, a, he's one of the backup quarterbacks, but he gives us another weapon that, you know, a playmaker. We're with Rams coach Joe Prudhomme on first and ten. I was going to ask you last week, but I'll ask you this week. The orphans, as you call them. Right, right. Isaiah Starling, that's yeah. an interesting story. Tell, right, tell right. his story for well, us. Well, you know, he, he's got his parents were incarcerated. Um, he's had to kind of bounce around places to, to, to grow up. And he's um, graduated from Kaufman High School. And he's, he's a very smart student, works hard. Uh, unfortunately, in the game, he got hurt. So... Um, but he's, he's a fighter. You know, he's one of those guys that you just have to kind of fight your way through things. So, Health-wise, how did you come out of that first We game? lost a few guys. Um, I'm, I'm not sure on a couple of them. I'm hoping none of them are season-ending. One of them is a possibility. Uh, you know, a lot of bumps and bruises more than anything else. And I think we'll get most of them back here pretty quick. We have a big game, by the way, on Saturday, the first home game yep. at Farrington Field since... Their last win yeah. in November of 1941 when they shut out Trinity 39 mm -hmm. to nothing, which was mm -hmm. well before my time and, right. and your time right. as well. But Ram Zone will be in effect, the ranch's Ram Zone at noon on the east side mm -hmm. of Farrington Stadium. No 
open flames or no alcohol, but first responders are going to be there, yep. and it's going to be it's going to be a blast. So looking yep. forward to noon and then two o'clock kickoff right. on Saturday. Yep. What can you tell us about the 0-1 Millsaps majors? They're good. They're very well coached. Um, their, their head coach is a former special teams uh, coordinator up in the NFL, so their special teams are out of sight. They're older group, so they're very uh, experienced. They, they adjust well. They, they fly around. They play very, very hard. Uh, but like I said, they're very well coached, and it's gonna be, they're, they're going to be a handful for us. They really are. Will Kane Harden start a quarterback? We're planning on him to have him start, yes. And then Demarcus Jones, he didn't have a bad game, 69 yards, I right. believe, or close to right. 70 in right. the running game. Yeah, he had, he, he had some tough yards, you know. There weren't, a, there weren't gaping holes, and he was, you know, making his way through some small holes. But, you know, Demarcus, we need to get him a little more involved in the game. Um, you know, we just can't let the game get away to where we're having to throw to catch up. But he's, he's a very, very a dynamic back. And that has to be a lot to build on. The defense didn't allow an offensive score by McPherson in the second half. So, yep. And then the two touchdown passes came late mm -hmm. in the game. So mm -hmm. it's going to be a lot to build on for you. Well, yeah, our, our guys didn't quit. And that was the main thing is that we didn't want to see any of the head dropping and not going to play and, and uh, we're all discouraged. They have to understand you fight to the end. No matter what the circumstances are, you just keep fighting. And, and that, that philosophy is in place, and I think they're buying into it. To the coaches and yourself, too, when they come off the field. I did sidelines for SMU for seven years, so I was right down there in the trenches, mm -hmm. so to speak. Mm -hmm. Do you guys, as they come off, you know, keep them up? I mean, like you said, the shoulders drop mm -hmm. and the head drop. Do you mm -hmm. kind of make sure right. to enforce that as right. they come off the field? You encourage them all any chance you get. I mean, that's, that's the only way this is going to work. They're, they're working their tails off. They're doing what they can. Just because of a lack of experience or maybe a, a, a play happens that they don't make a play on, the effort's there. As long as the effort's there. You build on that. That's what you build on. And, yeah, we try to keep them up. I mean, we correct it if they – the one thing we can't handle is laziness or repeated errors because now you're not paying attention. But other than that, if it's, if it's a situation where they're giving the effort, then, yeah, we, we do all we can to keep them up. Well, I'm excited. I'll be up in the booth with Mark Ward and Cameron Irvine on Saturday. We'll hit the air on ramsports.net about 10, 15 minutes before the game. And don't forget, at noon, Ram Zone on the east side of Farrington Stadium. That's going to be a blast, Coach. We're it's going to be a great to time. It. Yeah, they, they've put, there's been a lot of work put into it. Our whole game day committee, our football advisory council, they've really worked hard to make this a very uh, fan-friendly, family-friendly event. So it, we don't want it to just be about a football game, even though that's what you gather for. We want it to be an event that people come to and go, man, that was, that was a lot of fun. So that, that's our goal. And in the wake of Hurricane Harvey, the first responders from 9-11 are going to be there as well. Yes, yeah, there's, it's a special day for them. You know, we want to show, uh, we want to show respect and, and for what they do because they have really put in the effort here in the last few years. But with the Hurricane Harvey and things going on with that, it's, it's, it's over the top. It's at a new level. Have good practices the rest of this week, Coach, and go get them on Saturday. Will do. Thank you very much. You're welcome, and we'll talk to you next week.